Hey guys, so this is day one again on our phase, well on my phase four. So we both just weighed in, I am four pound up again. So I lost four in a week for my cut, and then I put the four back on within the week again. Yeah. Uh, Mark's also trying something different. Yeah, so I started a fat loss program. Uh, five days in, I've dropped five pounds, uh, I would say. In the next six weeks, it's gonna last about six weeks for me, see how I go, I'll drop about 20 more pounds, so about 25 pounds in six weeks, that's the plan. So for me, I think it's important to point out that a lot of people look at that and think, I could never lose four pounds. Yeah. Uh, you can, it's actually quite easy when you do what you're supposed to do and you track what you're doing, uh, and then putting it back on again for people that are trying to build. So I've talked to a few people, and they asked me why I was losing weight when I'm trying to build weight. Yeah. So Mark explained that to me whenever we were doing it. Do you want to give a wee? Yep. So your body adapts to whatever you put it under. So if you're trying to uh, put on weight, put on build muscle, you have to eat in a calorie surplus. So you're eating over your maintenance calories every single day. Uh, the problem is your body then gets used to that and it becomes efficient. So the most efficient way to put on weight is to put on fat. So we're not looking to put on a pile of fat. You're going to put on some, um, but we, we want to put on mostly muscle. So an occasional uh, diet break or a mini diet thrown in on a, on a muscle building program helps. Day one. So I thought it was worth pointing out that when I started this in January, my max, one rep max bench was 40 kilos with a barbell. And now at the minute I'm doing sets uh, of 20 kilo dumbbells on each hand. So that's quite a significant improvement in strength throughout this whole phase. Liam is doing a set of dumbbell benches. Um, last week when he was depleted, he only managed one full set with that particular weight. This week, now that he's gaining weight back again, his calories are up, he's obviously able to do many more sets, which is a good thing for him mentally, and obviously physically, he'll get more stimulus from it. Uh, I've just done my first work set um, with my working weight, and I've got one, just one more work set to do. I'm on a fat loss program, so calories are down significantly, energy's down because of that. But um, when you come in on a fat loss program, what you're trying to do, with your training, rather than come in and wear yourself down, most people what they do is they do heavy endurance, long range stuff, light weights, um, and wear themselves out. What you actually want to do is just come in, still work heavily, or start working heavily if you haven't, because what you're trying to do is stimulate the muscle. You want to maintain some muscle mass as your calories are low. You're not going to do that through marathon running and um, circuits and stuff. Uh, that's for a different, this is a different purpose. So here, my, all my training for the next six weeks is going to be heavy, trying to maintain as much heavyweight things as I can. This one is the chest supported row for me and for Mark it's the standing row. Last week when I was on depletion my weight was slightly lower and I just by now I was completely fatigued and ready to go home. I finished the workout but I was tired. Uh, Mark is on a depletion still, so he's full of energy and ready to keep going. Uh, so again, <laughs> ready. Uh, so the workout, again, uh, for me, I am really enjoying it because I'm loving life and he's starved, so he's not. Look at that, look at that bicep though. That's depleted muscle there. Might going to be like jacked. You must have a calf. I can't get it, sir, too. Go secret calf. Calf. Hey. Uh, so that's our chest board rule. That's the end of day one of phase four. Um, I lifted a lot heavier today than I did last week. I talked about that earlier, but I just, I still feel pretty good. I did as much as I could, but I feel like I could keep going. Yeah. But I'm not going to, because it's sore. No, no. So, uh, you know, calorie, calorie wise, Liam's on much more calories, so he's, he's made some personal records there today. Hey! PBs, which is, stop you flexing when I'm flexing that record. It's what it's all about making personal records. I, as I said, I'm on lower calories, so I found today hard, but very, very much doable, and I'm gonna push for personal records as well, as I talked earlier about 
trying to maintain strength levels to maintain muscle mass. Uh, one interesting point that I wanted to talk about here is that both of us have taken out cardiovascular exercise. Kind of delighted by. Um, for these routines, obviously cardiovascular exercise is very good for your health and it's very important for everybody out there to do to keep active. However, uh, on these programs we're now going to not do organised cardiovascular like we were doing with um, biking after training for 20-30 minutes and also doing a Tabata interval after this. So we're not doing that. I'm going to do fat loss programs completely for six weeks with no cardiovascular exercise at all. Um, I, I know I'm going to drop about 25 pounds. Uh, Even though there. people think you need all the cardio. To Just do. cardio, and I talked about that earlier. That, uh, I want to lose 10 pounds, so I'm going to do marathon running for a week. Good idea. Try right. it out and see what happens. <laughs> and I'll, I'll do six weeks of diet based and lifting heavy weights, and we'll see who looks better. Me. Probably me. So that's it. We'll see you to Wednesday for the next set. We. <laughs> So this is day two of the phase four, two, day two in the week. So today is legs day, which is awful, but I'll get through it. So do you want to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. um, well, this is obviously legs. Legs are the most important on a, any sort of size gaining program because that's going to be what's going to give you the most size. For you now, you're going to be doing an increased reps rather than weight through trying to work volume and yeah. exercise. Cool. So for this week, I'm doing six on my first one because I'm not putting the weight up anymore because I feel like it's enough weight for the moment. And I'm going to keep squatting until I can do six, five sets of six. So that was my first work set of squats. Uh, I'm in a calorie deficit at the minute, so they were quite hard. That's a light whip for me. Normally I would uh, rep that after going heavy. I'd normally do 15, 20 reps of that after going up to a top, top set of five or whatever, uh, what I'm normally training. But at the minute, it's very hard because I'm on lowered calories and muscles aren't firing the way they normally are. I can feel the legs cramping and stuff already. So I've another work set to go, and the idea is to try to Try to get 10 again, as best I can. Uh, again, the idea is on lowered calories, rather than doing lighter weights and uh, pumping out stuff, the idea is to use as heavy weight as you can so that you're actually stimulating as much muscle tissue because, again, you're on lowered calories. You want to burn fat, not muscle. Do you want to keep as much as you can through heavier weights? So in this one I'm doing the stiff-legged deadlift. Uh, stiff-legged deadlift for me has been interesting because it's changed a lot because I wasn't able to, like my arch wasn't there because of injuries in the past, like uh, it damaged my lower spine at one point and tore my scapula at a different point. So because of those injuries, my arc was weak and terrible. It looked like I'd never bent over in my life, never mind did a stiff-legged deadlift. Uh, Mark was doing leg curls. I was doing leg curls. Uh, we are using the band for leg curls because we don't have a curl machine, so you can make do with what you have. Keep on by a curl! <laughs> by a leg curl! So that is the end of day two on this phase, leg day. Uh, for me, it's very important to notice the lack of energy at the end of leg day compared to the upper body day where we get to flex all the time. Yep. Plus, we never really flex. No, no flexing. There isn't much flexing happening on leg day. No one cares about your legs anymore. Yeah, but they always complain that people don't feel leg day. I know. My legs are huge, they're just covered by yeah. my taxi bounds, so I can't show you, but like the gains are there. Yeah, it was a good leg day overall. Um, I'm low energy, so it's hard, but it was good. It's good at the end because it's over. It's kind of good after you finish your squats. Once the squats are done, you kind of go like, yep, that's that. Yeah. Sort of done, but uh, next time will be better because next time is Friday and Friday is arms and things. So we'll see you then. So that is our Friday session done. Yeah. We didn't bother videoing any of it because Daddy. we didn't need to, but I did press him. Yeah. 
as you can see. Daddy. Uh, Mark was doing legs. Uh, legs, uh, second legs this week. On a Friday evening. It was hard, I'll tell you. So when you draw at the club, we're at the uh, bar. Yeah. I block. Look, my arm's so big, it's blocking them out. 